you talk a bit about like just the, the development of this and like were you guys kind of developed this concurrently with the live action project or were they I look at you. <laughs> you, you can look at it it doesn't matter uh, were you developing this kind of concurrently with along with the movie or did it come along in parallel like um uh, let's see uh we didn't really have any real inner connection with the movie people. I think the fact that they were making a movie made it a little easier for us to get the show off the ground. So God bless them. Thank you, movie. Um, and and a lot of I would say they're similar in that you know a lot of a, the core character is the same, and there's uh, Guardians and the um, you know the, uh, the Green Lantern Corps. And so there's a lot that is similar, but we weren't working with them. I mean, do you, did you have to kind of like look into it and see what, not to kind of like parallel, go parallel with oh. it, or I mean, were there things that you had to kind of be aware of from the movie to either put in or not put in the series? Yes, uh, we came up with a, a lot of ideas and, and, you know, DC heard them all and uh, there was one brilliant idea that uh, I had that they said, oh, they we're kind of doing that in the movie, and I was like, oh, great, thanks, because uh, fortunately, uh, there, we had a lot more brilliant ideas, so don't worry, they're coming your way. Let's talk about like the, the the process of getting the voice cast like line up and like what kind of things like you guys were, were really looking for for like the voices. Oh, that was a really long process and uh, and really interesting. And you would think that Hal would be a really easy voice to cast, and it turned out to be a nightmare. There were people who were close, but I mean, we heard voice after voice, and so many. There's a lot of this. There's a lot of super strong voice of a masculine guy. And but you needed a guy who was was funny and and was cocky and and was a little bit of an ass, but you still loved him, you know? That's and it's it's and in Josh Keaton we so locked out. He's he's unbelievable. If you if you heard him as Spider-Man, this voice is nothing like that. He has a totally different thing going on and it's pretty cool. Just what we'd like to say to the fans of the franchise about why they should tune in uh, this fall. Um I'm sorry. Can you... What would you like to say to the fans of the franchise about why they should tune in this fall? You should tune in because this is the Green Lantern that you've been waiting for. You're going to flip. It's just fantastic. Please, please watch. You'll be glad you did.